Hello, it's Friday, July 27th, 2012 at 2.17 a.m. Central Time. And I want to show you a couple things here on radar tonight. We still have this storm stirring across the nation, although it looks like it's breaking up in pieces. Uh, it's got a couple hot areas here yet. West Virginia, Kentucky border there. And then also we've got this storm that's been hanging out on the eastern edge of Oklahoma for several hours now, kind of going in circles. <laughs> Let me, I think it's this one right here. Yeah, you can see it. It's really strange. And then finally it ends up having two tails. See that? Kind of gets strung out. And it looks like it's trying to rotate. And at the same time it's dissipating. If I remember, we'll look at that on the next rad. Um, going back to this nation, a couple other odd things is up here in Minot, North Dakota, we've got a flashing going on, and usually they X these out more often than not, but for some reason they didn't catch this one, or I don't know. And we also have this weather just pouring out of, um, this is Great Falls, Montana, right here, as well as we've got dueling beams here in Nevada. We've had these actually the last several nights. So I'm not sure what's up, if it has anything to do with this storm or not. Every once in a while they'll, they'll come out and start doing that. Let's take a look at, here's the flashes in Minot, way up in the high frequency. And actually what we're looking at is the, let me get this loop going. They're switching the, well in most of the cases, they're switching it from precipitation to clear mode here, even though we don't have any weather slow it down a little bit. But there's actually one um, flash that's where they don't switch it. In, in let's see, about UTC 3, 3 o'clock universal time, they flashed it like four or five times. Let's just kind of go through here quick. Right back here is where they, it's, this is kind of an odd bubble that's right here. But right here, 2236 going back one you can see that it just flares up there see so yeah it's still in clear mode so this is in clear mode this is a flash in clear mode still they didn't switch the mode and now this is still in clear mode also and we're way up at the top of the scale here at um, 24 plus decibels of Z and then several times they're switching from clear mode to precipitation mode here. And let's go look at Oklahoma before I forget. Actually, it's the, the closest radar is Fort Smith, Arkansas. The Doppler is right here. I really can't tell what it's doing. It's very odd. It's just kind of churning there. It looks like it's trying to rotate. So let's go look at, here's our dueling beams in Nevada. Oops. Stop it here, I want to go. Yeah. Well, let me go down any further. This one's a pretty good one right here. Look, I don't know what they're centered on. It looks like yeah, right about here. Let's turn on the counties. And this one's kind of going back and forth here. You see, so it looks like they're they're right in this area here is where they're targeting. This thing keeps grabbing things above it. I can't get to my time, so I can't tell. Oh, yeah, see, I was going backwards. <laughs> For some reason, I can't get the scroll bar to go up and down here. What I did to keep my loops from re-going, I put this refresh blocker thing on, but I don't know, then it takes up a whole area up here, and I can't see my time sometimes. 
Yeah, they're still messing with me, so what do you do? Okay, let's go look. And we already looked at this high frequency flash. Oh, I wanted to show you the Great Falls because it's very odd, very odd indeed. On Next Red, you just you go click on the one you want to look at and you click on Loop here. See right here, this weather is just pouring out, just out of the Doppler, it looks like. Here's the Doppler right here where my cursor is at the center of the bullseye actually and it's just pumping out something I don't know if it's rain or what it is let's go back and look at it again see right here it's just pouring it out and this thing too is just the flash is crazy um, the other day let's see well now this is this is AccuWeather and right here's the system in Oklahoma. And you can actually see some of these heart flashes showing up here. See the different Dopplers lighting up. We're not seeing North Dakota for some reason. Oh, now, come on. And here's, this is pouring out of Great Falls. The beams in Nevada aren't showing up. Well, yeah, they are. I can see them. I kind of like this. It's only a half an hour loop, but... Um, Whoops. Yeah, I'm going swimming here in the ocean. I'm in the Midwest, so very far. I haven't seen the ocean in a while, actually. It would be a nice thing to see it again. Yeah, you can see them a little bit right here. But here's the one I saved from the other night. No, where did it go? Oh, maybe I erased it. Well we won't be looking at it. Well, look at that. I did. No. My tabs are acting weird tonight, too. I'm not sure where things are going. Well, let's just switch on. Oh, here it is. This is really strange. This is up in northern Minnesota. Look at how this is comes up and then it comes straight down. You've got two tails. See that? Often we get two tails. This is actually preceding the storm. Usually they follow. But the thing about these two tails is, is it reminded me of something I found. Um, extra low frequency antennas, like the hugest one, the largest one in the United States, or maybe it's the world, is up here in um, Upper Wisconsin in Michigan. And it's, these two are actually attached these two antennas underground and that's quite a distance let's see if I can get my um, little measuring thing to work here it's 141 miles so and then also they were talking I was saw some video they were talking about hearing loud bangs and noises again in Wisconsin and, and maybe this has something to do with it I don't know um, something else interesting let's get it to load in telecast and while that's loading we'll go look at the jet stream because this is crazy too it's just doing this really odd dance it's swinging way up here and kind of hanging there and we've got the polar one <laughs> there see so you get two little pieces and they combine into one and this goes around and around and around just staying right there is south of Alaska actually often and that's you know harp is right up in here too so you know if they're gonna be putting pressure on the ionosphere that'd be probably a good place to do it I don't know but again we're not getting anything down in the United States usually, usually this orange one is down here in the lower part of the United States so let's see if IntelliCast is going there we go um, get it to play but notice that this is the system's running this way and if I go turn on fire wildfire detection see these things the other night that was doing it too well the storm was running this way and the fires kind of run this way in a line and there's actually two lines this time not not totally in a row but so I'm not sure what triggers these little fire 
to see how these up in Canada are in a row too. I wonder if that's part of this row. Look at this down here. This is crazy. South Africa's, I mean, I don't know if this is right, but the whole South Africa is ablaze according to this thing. And I just can't imagine it would be that way and it wouldn't be in the news or anything. So I don't know. There you have it. Just kind of wandering around tonight. God bless you. Have a good rest of the night.